Hello, welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and I am here to show you my selections for the BookTube Spin number six. And this is an event hosted by Rick McDonnell. Um, people are supposed to select 20 books. You can have a theme or you cannot have a theme. Um, and then Rick will spin a magic dial and come with a number between one and 20. And you are supposed to read the number or the book that corresponds to that number. Now he will be doing two number spins. Um, I do not promise to read both books, but I, I will read at least one of the two spins. And I, I may pick and choose the number um, depending on how much I like the, 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 the spin or the choice. So what am I doing? Um, since themes are optional, um, I have chosen a theme though, even though they're optional. And my theme is going to be NYRB Classics books. Now, if you look behind me, right there, you can see I have two shelves of NYRB Classics. And they're looking very empty right now because I have 20 books that I have not read on my spin list. And yes, I do have more than 20 books in the NYRB Classics line that I have not read. So what are my choices? Number one, Omar Pasha Latas by Ivo Andreik. Um, this, he is a winner of the Nobel Prize for Literature and is originally written in Serbo-Croatian. The Seven Madmen by Roberto Arlt. He's an Argentinian writer, and of course he originally wrote in Spanish. Fear by Gabrielle Chevalier. This is a World War I novel originally written in French. The Simple Past by Driss Charalbay. It is originally written in French and it is a novel set in Morocco. I do not know of a lot of novels set in Morocco. The Continuous Catherine Mortenho by D.G. Compton. And this is some sort of semi-science fiction novel. It has an introduction by Jeff Vandermeer. A Posthumous Confession, Marcellus Emerantz. Emerantz. Um, it is originally written in Dutch, um, and it was translated by J.M. Coetzee, who won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Novels in Three Lines by Félix Fignon, translated from the French. Now, this is just a lot of short idea novels written, at least originally, in three lines in French. In the English translation, it sometimes does not come out to three lines. Redshift by Alan Gardner. I don't know a whole lot about this novel. I just have it on my shelf. So um, I'd be going into that blind. The Invisibility Cloak by Ji Fue, translated from the Chinese. Havoc by Tom Christensen. This was originally translated from the Danish, and it is a nice, thick, existential novel. All for Nothing, Walter Kamposki, translated from the German, and this is a World War II novel, or a novel set in 1945 at the end of World War II. Ivory Pearl by Jean Patrick Manchette. This is a French novel 
originally written in French. And this is a crime novel. I will be reading The Great Fortune by Olivia Manning. Now this is an omnibus of a trilogy, but I will only be reading the first book in the trilogy. Mort Durban by J.F. Powers. This is a novel about a priest. I believe the priest has trouble with women. Mohammed by Maxine Rodinson. Maxime Rodinson is originally written in French. This is a biography of Mohammed with a Marxist lint or tint. Classic Crimes by William Rochehead. This is a story of crimes in the beginning of the 20th century. The Seventh Cross by Anna Sergers, originally written in German. And this is a novel, again, about World War II. The Case of Conrad Tuliev by Viktor Sergei, originally written in Russian. And this is a murder mystery of sorts written in the Soviet Union era. The Book of Blom by Alexander Tisma, originally written in Serbro Croatian. I don't know a whole lot about this novel, so it'll be another one I'd be going into blind. Heaven's Breath, A Natural History of the Wind by Lyle Watson. And this is a natural history of wind. And that are my 20 books. Thank you. Have a good day.